Hello, in this video we're going to show that the cosine of x minus pi over 2 is equal to the sine of x. Let's go ahead and carefully work through this solution. We'll start by writing down the identity that we're going to use in order to solve this problem. The identity is the following. If you have the cosine of a minus b, this is equal to the cosine of a times the cosine of b, and then you flip the sign. Because we have a minus, we put a plus, just a memory trick, and then you have sine a and sine b. So if instead you had cosine of a plus b, it would be exactly the same except you would have a minus on the right hand side. Now let's go ahead and write down the left hand side of what we're trying to show. So we have the cosine of x minus pi over 2. And that's equal to, so a is x and b is pi over 2. So this is going to be the cosine of x cosine of pi over 2 because b is pi over 2 plus the sine of a, but a is x, so this is the sine of x, and sine of b, but b is pi over 2, so we have the sine of pi over 2. Before we go to the next step, we should try to think about what the trig function values are uh, that we have in this problem. So what is the cosine of pi over 2, and what is the sine of pi over 2? In order to do that, we can think about the unit circle. Unit circle is a circle with center at the origin of radius 1. And it has the very powerful property that every point on the circle has the form cosine theta, comma sine theta. That means that the x coordinate is the cosine of the angle that we're considering, and the y coordinate is the sine of the angle that we're considering. In our problem, the angle we're considering is pi over 2. And so the corresponding point is going to be right here denoted in blue which is the ordered pair 0, 1. So now we can continue the problem. So this is equal to cosine of x times, and now we have to figure out the cosine of pi over 2. Well, from the picture, we can see that the cosine of pi over 2 is the x-coordinate at pi over 2. So it's going to be 0 plus sine of x times the sine of pi over 2, and that's the y-coordinate at pi over 2, that's going to be 1. So we have, well, cosine x times 0 is just 0 plus, and then sine x times 1 is just sine x. And so this is equal to the sine of x, and that completes our proof. I'll put a little box here with an x, and I put, I put solution, but you could put proof. I mean, basically we showed it, there's no you know, ambiguity. Hopefully this has helped you and hopefully you understood. <laughs> so you learned some mathematics, make sure to check out other videos. Until next time, good luck, take care.